Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Minecraft sub, but before we begin, let me take a moment to tell you about our sponsor for the day, which is me, with the re-rack your weights reusable water bottle available at represent.com slash store slash Captain Sparkles for one more week if you're interested. You can get it in this black with the white design, or the white with the black design, as you see me holding here. Mmm, quality H2O. There also is a red option over here with the white design. Pretty cool stuff. You don't want to miss it, link in the description. Okay, let's go into number 19, which is, I would really like to see a new world generation update since they showed us some amazing landscapes in the trailers. Ah, <sighs> dude, we've been waiting on the, uh, well, we've been waiting on the cave update for a while. There's actually a data pack that I want to try out later this week, sometime this week, that updates all the caves. And it's only with a data pack, which seems super cool. I still have to try it out. So hopefully it lives up to the footage that I saw of it. But dude, massive villages like that would be so cool. Having gigantic mountains that are kind of proportional, not just like the amplified mountains where it just stretches things up, but just like large mountain ranges. And then you get villages that are on top of like plateaus in the mountains with even more. Oh yeah, dude, I totally agree. It'd be pretty cool if we could get some kind of like biomes of plenty style update. Sorry, Mojang, we're putting a lot on your plate. I know you're probably already working on things, but let me just stack some more onto that. Cool. I know you don't mind. I made a frog eat a bee using flying machines. Is... hold on. Is... is the bee... oh my god. <laughs> yep, the bee's gonna fly right into the frog's mouth. That's very impressive with the tongue extending. I figured that the bee was just kind of gonna dive straight in. Be like, you know what, this is my life now. That looks like a an appealing place to make a beehive. Oh no, wait, I'm food now? That's unfortunate. Also, that frog, probably gonna regret eating the bee. Most animals don't like to eat bees, right? Because, you know, you, you, the whole thing where you get stung inside, not very pleasant, I would have to imagine. I've seen photos of dogs that accidentally, like, bit at a bee and then they got stung inside their mouth. It doesn't look very fun. I feel like most probably wouldn't want to do that. There've gotta be natural predators to bees. I just don't know what they are because why would you want to eat something that stings you? They would have had to evolve some sort of defense against the stinger poison, but still even getting pricked would be physically uncomfortable, but whatever, poor frog. Shout out to the egg that got in the new 360 menu background. Oh, <laughs> wait, is this, I can't tell if this is uh, on bedrock or if this is on Java. Is this like the 1.15 you know, 360 panorama that goes around when you load up the menu. <laughs> Somebody forgot to clean up the egg. Chicken must have just like waltzed into the frame as they were capturing the thing and then they just left the egg there as the screenshot was taken. Bad chicken, dude, bad chicken. You're mucking up the screenshot. We can't have dropped items just on the ground in what's supposed to be the professional 360 splash screen photo. You'll never believe the Easter egg that was spotted in the new Minecraft main menu. Unbelievable, parentheses, shocking. My effortless building mod now has circular build modes. What in the world is going on here? Are we in like, in like Photoshop or paint or something like, okay, this is pretty cool. Huh. Whoa, that is a really fancy animation for filling in the blocks after you select your area. What the heck? It doesn't just like make the blocks appear. Oh, that's a fancy. You didn't even have to do it that way, but you did. See, the only thing is like you have to remember what block you initiated drawing the circle off of, and I would totally end up forgetting that, but I guess having that reference right there helps a lot. Oh, that's like the freaking, oh, that's so cool. Okay, and then you can surround it. Oh, do you can do like a cylinder? Oh my God, then you can expand the cylinder upwards. This is the quickest. Oh, and it even randomizes what blocks are in the cylinder between the stone brick and the smooth and the... Okay. It's pretty cool. Not bad. Does it know that like polished andesite and stone brick like worked well together or... Anyway, oh my God. Not that this would actually allow me to be anything of like a, a good builder at all, but it's pretty cool. World Edit has similar tools, right? I think, but they're probably not as fancy in, in like such a nice menu system of selecting what you want to do. Like you got to select the points and then you got to do like slash fill, right? With World Edit. This is just nice. I like it. I had a random bit of inspiration today and decided to rebuild this scene. 
It's a very accurate recreation of um, SpongeBob and Squidward. You know, I, if you had those two standing, just no context, not in the Krabby Patty, I'd know in an instant. Ah, oh, no, obviously that's, that's Squidward, the old Prismarine wood sandwich. SpongeBob, on the other hand, dude, obviously the end rod is the Krusty Krab uniform hat. I mean, how could anyone not realize this? What, quality use of the tools that you have available, even if it'd be nice if you had like chisels and bits or something, to go into a little bit more detail, it's quality. See, I I prefer that you do like Krabby Patties, Squidward. You should have built the Krabby Patty vault, and then you should have built Squidward once it goes straight to his thighs. <laughs> I'm sure someone out there has already made Squidward with the Krabby Patties having gone straight to his thighs. That, that build exists somewhere out there in the world. Whether or not it's ever been posted online, who knows? I found a nice little way to hide your valuables. This is gonna be some like secret base kind of thing. Okay, you just use some trap doors. Trap doors are a clever way to conceal stuff. Oh, one of those is a barrel, right? One of those is gonna be a barrel, you just like don't know which, probably. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Barrels are clever because they look like spruce wood if you don't realize that they're a barrel. Oh, and then you have to, see this seems like a lot of effort though. Oh, that's pretty fancy. That's very fancy actually. See, I'd have to be smart in order to do something like that because that involves me doing like some kind of slime block piston elevator that goes in both directions. And I'm definitely not smart enough to do that sort of thing, but it's pretty cool in practice. See now that, that would be a good vault system on something like that one series that used to happen where it's like people can't blow up, they can't break blocks, like is that protected area? You have to get into the vault legitimately. So that'd be a clever way to do it. That'd be pretty, and no one would even know that it was there. As long as you black out your screen when you're entering it as long as you're live streaming, you know? Drew a moment from me and my girlfriend's playthrough where she stopped us in the nether to pick up mushrooms. Hey, speaking of swings, you guys look like you could use one right there. He looks very, very worried, and I feel like taking a swing on a not swinging swing in Minecraft where swings don't work could calm you down a little bit. All right, the gas look very sad too. You guys, you look like you could just kind of talk it out, have a little feeling session right there, talk about why you're so sad. Meanwhile, happy picking mushrooms. Why don't you partake in the mushroom picking, okay? It looks like there's a lot of happiness going on, whereas you're just like, no, nah, I'll stick with the gas and just cry and stuff like that. Why are guests? sad. Do they not like their environment? Maybe they'd be happy if they were in the overworld, but yet every guest who's seen the overworld is still upset. I think I may have a clue as to the fate of my pet snow golem. Are we gonna follow a snow path? I think. And it's gonna lead straight down to lava is my assumption here. Because that, that... Oh, okay. I mean, it could still very well be surviving in the nether, okay? Snow golems don't melt. Unless they actually fall into lava, which, hey, if it's in the nether, there's no guarantee that it's fallen into lava. It's probably toasty, but I don't know. Those dudes are made out of some really resilient snow. It's not like water-based snow. It's based on some other material that has a much, much higher melting point. So I'm sure it's okay. It's probably just trying to, like, you know, throw some snowballs at some gas. I'm sure it's totally successful and nothing could have gone wrong. I took a closer look on the enderpearl. Wow. It's, I, I thought we were going to do, like, the... What is it that the the finger game where you like punch someone if they see the the circle? Yeah, I kind of thought that's what it was going to be for a second, but instead you get Enderman eyes. That's the new sequel to it. Is if you see the Enderman eyes and you get punched or something. God, I hated that game so much. It was the worst game because I always got got because if someone tells me to look over there, I'm going to look over there. I'm not going to be like, no, I'm not going to look because then it's important. And they're like, why wouldn't you look? I'm trying to show you like a math problem or something like that, that maybe I could use your help on. And I'm like, no, I won't look because you're gonna do the finger game. And then it'd be like, no, dude, I just want your help on homework. And then I'd look over and then they do the finger game and I get punched and I hated it so very much. So thank you for not doing that to me. Otherwise I'd have to punch myself. And that's never super fun either. This could be used actually in like a super high res texture pack though, because there are plenty of texture packs that go like super high res and this would probably be well within the confines of that. So you could do it. That's what I thought. I hate it. I hate it when something interrupts your building, dude. It's the worst when something interrupts the thing like that, and you're just like, bro, I'm just trying to build. Could you not? Could... All right, thanks, bud. Thanks. Now that I bother to go into the inventory and fetch the thing I need to remove you, now you move on your own. 
Thank you so much. Couldn't you have done that early? Couldn't you just not gotten into my building trench to start off with? You're wasting everybody's time here, okay? I'm in creative mode. I'm not even engaging you. You could go peaceful, but if you had a pet slime, that would be rough. So, you know, if you're wanting to live with your own, Jerry, I guess you can't go peaceful. So I understand. You gotta just deal with the spider while it's there and just scare it away by whipping out the big guns. I should work on my master's thesis, but I rediscovered Minecraft after six years and built an unalived whale. That is a very graphically unalived whale. That is not what I was expecting. You went full on like, what happens after the whale's been sitting on the beach for a few months and its skin starts falling off? Let's take a look at what that might be. Mm-mm-mm. Let's get into all those nether blocks. Ah, oh, yeah, dude. And then did you straight up use some banners on the side to give a gradient? You did. Wow, you went full on gradient for the bones, going from bones to muscle, and I have never thought about that, but that is a very good use of banner. I'll be a little bit terrifying. And then uh, you decided to live out the rest of your life as Jonah, and I hope your master's thesis is like marine biology related, because that would be very on brand. Tiny and huge versions of some items. Oh, I guess this came before the ender pearl. Again, you could totally Put these into a texture pack if you weren't planning on doing so already. This one just gives me a closer look at the thing that's gonna screw me over. Because last time I tried to go to the end, it just wrecked me. You catch that one in the last randomized series where I had like five out of seven throws break? I like, how does that even happen? You start off with 15 Eye of Enders thinking you're gonna be fine. And there's no way you could lose more than three on the way there, right? Wrong. Five out of seven throws break, and there's a 20% chance each. I want to know those statistics, but I definitely stopped paying attention in my last probability and statistics class because that was right as I had made the decision to drop out. So I definitely didn't pay attention as I should have, but that would have come in handy because I could have calculated the probability and then I would have known just exactly how much I got screwed over on that one. Anyway, but I digest. We, uh, we, we move along to the others, which are also looking pretty cool as the sprites in your inventory. You'd have to come up with a 3D model to go with the lamp though. So that'd be a, that'd be an undertaking. I always thought those ugly holes filled with water ruin the plains biome itself. Why not just have one big lake instead? The world's slowest load. Yeah, I've, I've always been kind of frustrated by all the little holes because what happens is whenever you're trying to run away from something or you're fighting something, you're walking backwards, you just end up falling into one and then the spider just jumps off the bank into your face and you're like, thanks for that. At the very least though, if you do have a fire aspect sword, then I guess you're not getting lit on fire by the zombie that's able to still hit you even though it's like 10 feet away from you. So this would be nice though. It'd give you some more solid footing rather than always having to worry about falling into a pool of water, especially if you have a horse. And you're just like jumping around and all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is a 10 foot freaking deep pool just out of nowhere that I didn't see. And now it booted me off my horse. And now I either have to just nudge the horse to the side or I have to whip out the lead and try to pull the horse out because this is obnoxious. Why is there this random water? This place was built with absolutely terrible drainage. How to hit an enderman with an arrow. Wait, I'm actually curious. Can you hit an enderman with an arrow? Or is this the very unique situation where you happen to have an enderman cornered on a single block in in uh, void unsubscribed you're just gonna physically punch it with an arrow in your hand thanks for that one the nether was created into the overworld on my corrupt file does it keep going though if you like keep flying because that would be wild. See, I don't even know how that bug happens. See, what, what would be really funny though is that's a dark oak forest. What if there was a woodland mansion right there? <laughs> You're like so excited to go and explore the thing, but you have to go to bed. You want to get a full gameplay session. You don't want to get in there and then it's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta hit the hay dude, school tomorrow. And then you're stuck halfway through. No, no, you want to get it one full gameplay. You load the world back up. You never backed up your save, because why would you bother? And then the nether has just completely come in and smashed your woodland mansion, and you've lost it. Now that would be quite heartbreaking. Because you're like, ah, oh, this is a cool bug, but also, like, I've been to the nether before, and it's not nearly as exciting as the woodland mansion I was about to get a whole bunch of loot from, so thanks for nothing. Really appreciate that one. 
Dude, I wonder if it keeps generating. It must be just like a few chunks. There's no way it'd keep generating in the overworld. I don't think that's how it would work. I made a three-way piston door. When you say three-way. Okay, so it goes, oh, so you have like stairs that can go up. Stairs that can go back down. Or you have another button that can just straight across. Fancy. What's the alternative? Like a right-hand turn? Oh, down. Yeah, that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how you do that. It actually doesn't look like a crazy amount of redstone. It's very compact. If I tried to make something like this though, 100% guaranteed that the redstone would probably take up the space of an entire woodland mansion, because we were just speaking about those, knowing that it could be optimized to look like this. See, dude, after all these years, and you still have people who are able to innovate off of just the basic redstone stuff. That's what I like to see. House in the mountain, the top post for the last month. X Gold Robin Minecraft builds. It looks very cozy. And shaders just make everything look so much better, don't they? Like if you did shaders off on this, you did RTX on versus RTX off, it still looked nice, but it would just look nothing quite like this here. You know, you just get that little bit of bloom, a little bit of shadows coming off of the edge of the border of the window. See, man, I, I don't know why, why can't, why can't I come up with ways to make places look like this? It's just a little, it's a little bits of details. That last 10% that really makes something look super professional. Whereas anything that I look at that I've built, even if I'm like, it seems like a good structure. It's just, it doesn't have that, that final little pizzazz, the finesse that needs to go into something simple as this, but effective. It's very nice. It's very pretty. I live there. I bet it has a good view, and I do like me a good view. And also, I have to assume that that right there is Hubert. So you'd have unlimited emeralds and unlimited mending books for one emerald apiece, so that you don't even really put to use your unlimited emeralds because the discounts are already there. So on that final note, Hubert, it's been real, dude. And uh, catch you later, dude. All right. Thanks again for uh, checking out the Minecraft sub. Um, as always, make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more of these kinds of videos. Subscribe if you're not already. And represent.com slash store slash Captain Sparkles for all your weight re-racking water bottle needs. Check it out. Don't dehydrate. Mm. Ah, quality H2O. Not included. H2O not included. Okay, bye. I'm